So the one question I get asked quite a lot is how do you make your TikToks and how do you get it from a square with two black boxes to actually fitting in the whole screen on TikTok itself? Well, guys, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it, what program I use, which is absolutely free, which is a benefit. All you're going to need is either a Mac or a PC, and you can do this yourself. Guys, this is for everybody. If you have a PS, an Xbox, or a computer, whichever platform you're playing off, wherever you save your clips from, this will work. And it's not as difficult as people think. It's actually quite simple. You can make a good looking TikTok in five minutes. If you get used to it, it's so simple. It's so fast and it's so effective. This will boost your engagement on TikTok so much. People will look at your clips. It'll be more professional. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let me show you guys how I do it. And thanks for clicking on the video. So the first thing you'll want to do is actually go over to Blackmagic Design's website. This is where you will download DaVinci Resolve 17. It's absolutely free. I'll link the website down in the description below just to make it a lot easier. Just scroll all the way down until you see this free download now. Don't worry about the paid one. The free one has everything you need. It's not going to make a difference at all. So just click on it and it will ask you which one. Don't worry about the studio one. Take the normal one. Go on either Mac OS, Windows or Linux depending on your operating system. Once you click on it, just sign up. It's going to ask you for like basic details. You don't have to pay anything. Just pull this out and say register and download. Your download will start and then we will start with the editing. That's simple. So the first time you open Avengers Resolve, you're going to be greeted by this little plain looking menu. Now the only thing you have to do from here is just go to the bottom. You'll see new project. You're going to click on that. Now you can name this anything you want. You can call it compilation, you can call it snipe, you can call it clip, you can do whatever you want to it. Me personally, I do not put a name in here because I don't save the clips afterwards at all. I don't have DaVinci keep them as a backup. I don't want to use them again. It's a one-off clip that I use. So I just say create. So from here, you're going to be greeted with the screen. Now this looks complicated. I do know it does look complicated, but it's actually so much more simple than people might think. So first things first, you'll see the bottom here, this thing called media, cut, edit, fusion, color, fairy light, and then deliver. You all want to stay on the cuts because the clips you normally take, you don't use the whole thing. You don't use the whole 60 seconds, 45 seconds, 10 minutes, whatever you clip. It. You might just want one little piece of good gameplay. So what I normally do is I just go into a file where I save my clips. This is my file. So you can import by going to file import so forth and so on but dragging and dropping is just so much more simple it's 2022 so i'm just going to take this clip i haven't even looked at these clips yet as soon as i drag it into the slide at the bottom you'll see it's asking me to change the frame rate of the file now keep in mind that your default setting on davinci will be 29.12 30 frames a second my clips are done at 1080p 60 fps meaning that well it's almost doubled i like to change my resolution because I want them to be as smooth and crisp as possible. If you record in 30 frames a second, it will possibly not ask you to change it. If you record in 45, whatever device you are on, you will most possibly have to change it. TikTok does support up to 60 frames a second, I believe. Um, I've never seen a problem by uploading a 60 frames a second video at all. So I'll hit change. Now that it's on, you will see we have a little preview window. From this point, you can now go through your clip in two ways. You can either use the thing on top, this little red bar, you can click on it, and you can drag it. Now, just excuse the background noise, it's gonna make a bit of a background noise. So, this was actually a team wipe I did, and oh, I like the clip, so I'm gonna make it a TikTok. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the point where I'm happy with it. I'll start from here. So as soon as you've got the point on the clip where you want to cut from, you'll see on the left hand side, the little scissors here, split cuts. And just click on that. What it's going to do is it's going to take the initial clip and it's going to make two little points. As you can see right there. Now we don't want the side. So I click on it and hit delete on your keyboard. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and we can look at wherever we want the clip to stop. I'm just going to use the whole clip for argument's sake. Now that we're done with this, we're done with the cuts, we're going to go over to the edit side. Now this is where things get a little bit more complicated, but also it's simplified once you get used to it. That's a benefit of it. As soon as we have the edit clips, you'll see a little clip in the bottom here. We can actually zoom in on this. We can just click on this little button here. 
reasons aren't allowing me to. And it's not. Oh, there we go. Click on that one. And it's going to give you a full screen preview of your clip. So this is the whole clip. It's about almost 30 seconds long, or to be precise, it's 34 and a half seconds long. So we're going to use this clip now in total. But now you're looking at it and you're saying, but it's still captured in a 1920 by 1080 view. We need to change this into a 1080 by 1920, meaning we're going to take it from this to this. And to do that, you can do one of two things. You can either go to File, all the way down to Project Settings. Once you hit Project Settings, you'll see you get this little thing right here. Now we want to change this to 1080 by 1920. And the frame rate, everything else we're going to leave as is. Like I said, I record in 60 frames a second. I'm going to keep it on 60 frames a second. Please just note that if you record in 30 frames a second, do not change this to 60 frames a second. Your image is going to look horrible. Keep it to the frame rate that you record in. I'm going to hit save. And there we go. Now all of a sudden our canvas has gone from a long square to a tall square. Now the clip is a little bit bonkers. I put it that way. On the right hand side you will see actually have adjustment settings to this. I can zoom it, I can play with the X and Y positioning, and then I can pivot your picture so forth and so on. The only thing we're gonna be worrying about is the zoom and the X and Y variables on the side here. That's the only thing that I play with. The only thing I need. Now depending on what size your clip is and everything, I have set mine to a norm. I can click on this clip, make sure it's selected by the red. And I know when I zoom this in, I just have to go to a 2.5 variable and I will be in the perfect place where I want to be. X will take it from left to right, as you can see like this. And then Y will bring it up and down. Now my value on Y is negative 198. I've done this so much that I've gotten used to these values. From there, now I have a perfect bottom lined up, perfect top. I've got a little blank canvas right here, the black piece you see. That's where I like to put my webcam. Now, you're going to ask me, how do I get my webcam there? Well, this is the, C this is the easy, simple quick way people think it's actually complicated i'm going to make sure i'm going to click on this clip so it's selected in red i'm going to make sure this little red arrow or line is at the end of the clip because if it's anywhere else you're going to cut over it i'm going to right click i'm going to say copy now make sure this red line is on the end or you can even pull it off so it's not touching anything and just say paste now we've duplicated this clip and i've got two of the exact same clip what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file for this to go into. We're just going to grab it, pull it up, bring it over. There we go. Now we have two clips identical on top of one another. We're going to make sure that the top clip is selected. Make sure it's selected with the red. And we are going to play with the X. Bring it all the way over until we can see our cam. Now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in again. We're going to keep doing this until we get to a point where we are actually happy. Where everything fits in perfectly to about there. I'm kind of happy with that. And now we're going to take it up to about there. Now I'm not going to put my hand cam in, I'm not going to leave that in. It's not, to me, it's no point having the hand cam in my Xbox. Now you're going to say, but you've got this thing blocking over now. Cool. At the bottom, you'll see something called cropping. Once you click on that, you'll see this crop bottom section. Click on that and just drag and delete all of that on top. There we go. Now, indirectly, we have just created a TikTok clip. We're done. And that's where I'm going to leave it today, please. This is a quick, simple, fast and effective tutorial to just show you guys how I make my clips, how I make them look the way they do, and how fast you can do it as well. With five minutes and just a little bit of flipping work, you can make a good look at TikTok. We can have your face cam in, we can have your whole display in, and you can fill the whole screen on TikTok. Now, the most difficult part is just to go to deliver. Over here, it's going to ask you for a file name. We're going to call this anyway. And then we're going to try where we want to save this clip. Now, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And then it's going to ask you for a format. I normally change this to MP4, because MP4 is supported on all all platforms. You can use this for Instagram as well. So I'm going to leave that on that. I'm going to put it on H.264, so that basic and norm. And nothing else I'm going to touch. It's still on 1080 by 1920. It's still at 60 frames a second. So from here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say add to render queue. I'm going to pop it over to the render queue on the right hand side. And I'm going to say render. Once I click on that, it's going to start composing my video. 
as soon as this is done it'll be on your desktop and ready to play ready to record ready to upload do whatever you want with it. and that's literally how simple and fast it is to create a tiktok from a clip let's just wait for this to finish and i'll show you guys what the clip looks like now that it's done you can see it's actually saved to my desktop there's the clip double click on it <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to mute it for now for argument's sake, otherwise it's really loud. <laughs> and that's it, boys and girls. There's your clip. So now you'll see, actually, if we open TikTok. Don't use TikTok, don't use the web browser to upload videos because for some reason the algorithm doesn't find it and it's just horrible. Now if you want to upload this clip to TikTok, you'll actually see it'll give you a little display. This is what it'll look like on TikTok itself. It's taking longer than I thought. But the wave version will normally give you a preview of what it'll look like on the phone. And you will see it's actually going to fit perfectly in. And it's going to be a perfect TikTok video. There we go. Any day. There we go. So that's what it's going to look like on a phone. Boys and girls, it's literally that fast, that simple, that quick to make a good looking TikTok in order for you to boost your engagement, boost your viewership, and just look so much more professional. If you guys want me to go into a bit more in depth video, tag me down in the comments, say you want something different, you want something you want to know more. I'll show you guys how to put in transitions, how to do how to put in text, how to put in all the little basic things, how to put in your social media pop up banners and so forth and so on. So if that's something you guys will be interested in, leave me a comment down below and I will make that video for you. Until then, have an awesome day. Thanks for watching and go put up some work into those edits. I'll see you guys very soon. All the love. Enjoy.